Hello everyone, I'm Rich. I'm with Reno Tahoe Limousine and Reno Tahoe Transportation. I'm one of the drivers here uh, at Reno Tahoe Limousine. And today we're basically just gonna go quick rundown of what we're doing to prepare uh, and to be ready uh, in this uh, pandemic that we're all in right now so that you're assured that you're gonna get a safe and clean, not to mention comfortable ride wherever you happen to be going. So as we all know, everybody is accustomed to now the fact that there's preventative measures that are being taken place everywhere you go, in the airports, hotels, and certainly uh, restaurants, and certainly vehicles are no exception. So we are a, a licensed and bonded and insurance uh, transportation company based here in Reno, Nevada, and we're uh, also governed by the Nevada Transportation Authority. So a lot of the guidelines and a lot of the things that we do now, our practices, are guidelines that are not only put out by the CDC in general for the general public, but they've been refined and fine-tuned, if you will, by the Nevada Transportation Authority, the National Limousine Association, and a lot of our affiliates that are located across the country and around the world, and how they're adopting and how they would like their passengers uh, to be taken care of in again the midst of the pandemic so what we're here to do is show you what we do here at Reno Tal Limousine now first of all all of our drivers have received training and we're well again up to date on all the latest procedures we consistently check you know what the latest guidelines are and how things change it's a fluid situation uh, but we do get uh, you know updates and we update our drivers to make sure that we're you know as clean as possible and as uh, current as we possibly can. Uh, all of our drivers are required to do a self-check prior to coming to work, meaning they feel their own temperature, they take their temperature, you know, if they've got any kind of uh, known contact with somebody that's been potentially uh, exposed, they're to report that and then self-quarantine for 14 days. If they themselves feel a little ill, a little under the weather, whether it's COVID-19 or not, you know, we don't take any chances they immediately are uh, off the, the schedule they're not going to do any jobs they're not going to do any work they're going to go in and get tested and uh, and again take the necessary quarantine measures so that you're never stuck with a, a driver who is a little ill or a or a lot ill or any kind of ill they're just we want to make sure everybody is uh, safe and uh, feeling healthy and uh, that way you know you know for a fact that the guy getting in your car or lady uh, we have some female drivers that uh, they're they're clean. Now, uh, again, the self-check, that's step one. See, we come to work. Our vehicles, as you can probably see, our vehicles are always kept spotless. Uh, we have uh, on-site uh, mechanics and uh, lot attendants that clean the vehicles for us, just the basic washing, uh, vacuuming the rugs, wiping down, and just cleaning up in general. We do this all the time whether there's a pandemic or not. But now we're taking extra steps. So uh, part of that is, is the driver themselves, as we mentioned, does a self-check. All of our drivers are required to wear a face covering of some kind, either black or white face covering, and gloves, which again, disposable gloves, uh, you know, so we, you know, we're, not, we're not passing the, anything on to anybody else. All of the vehicles are cleaned each and every time prior to and after a trip so that when you get into a vehicle you don't have to wonder who is in here before you and whether or not it got cleaned in between yes it did thoroughly it got thoroughly clean and i'll show you exactly how we do it so first of all when we have a vehicle we're going to take you know some sort of a disinfectant wipe it may or may not be clorox i mean it, you know it'll be one that has the uh, the alcohol base in it but we're going to thoroughly go through, not just for the driver's side, but everywhere. Wherever the driver is more than likely going to touch. You know, any of the gear shift knobs, any of the knobs, the light switches, radio. You know, this is a touch screen. So we're going to be wiping down the touch screen, any of the air conditioning controls, anywhere where the driver may touch. Even though we have the gloves on. This area is going to be completely sterile and spotless using, you know, an approved uh, cleaning agent. So again, this is all going to be wiped down completely. I do want to make one uh, note uh, per 
the NTA, as we mentioned, guidelines issued by the Nevada, I'm sorry, the National Limousine Association uh, and our own insurance company and just in general, the new policy is pretty much uh, industry-wide, there won't be anybody allowed to sit in the front seat anymore. It's just the way it is. I mean, it, you know, the, there'll be plenty of room in the back and the rear seats for anybody, but any kind of vehicle we have, nobody's allowed to sit in, in the front seat. The other thing I wanted to point out, if you could look at this really closely, is that all of our air conditioning systems will be not in recirculate. And I just, I had it on recirculate. I wanted to see now there's no light. So that means fresh air is now coming in. We're not recirculating the air that's inside of, uh, of the cabin. This is for all of our vehicles where this is applicable and available. So again, our air conditioning, heat, whatever, any fan, any air circulation, we are not recirculating. So again, once we clean our area completely, and again, it's things that we may end up touching, the door handles, the lock switches, even though there's nobody sitting over here, we will obviously open this door for one reason or another. Again, we're wiping down every single surface where we may end up touching. Okay, of course, even the, the seat controls and whatnot. While we're in the front seat, I do want to show you that part of the kit that the driver will take with them on top of their clipboard that has a lot of the other essential job uh, materials, you know, pens and flashlights and little pocket knives and things that people may need along the road. Now, each driver is issued, wave that down, is issued a cleaning kit. This is the uh, kit that the driver takes with them all the time on every trip. So we're never somewhere out in the middle of nowhere or just away from the office without cleaning supplies. So in here, here's one of those packages of the uh, of the wipes, pretty much just like the Clorox wipes. We've got spare masks, spare gloves. We've got Kleenex packets. We've got hand sanitizer. Inside this bottle uh, is a uh, an alcohol solution, like a cleaning solution, similar to a Lysol type of product. And it's in this uh, see-through uh, carry kit and every driver is issued one of these and every driver takes it with them on every trip so we're never without supplies and if for some reason the passenger runs out of supplies or, or you know we've got extras you know for them Come on everybody safe and again in the rear we're going to do the same thing wherever people are going to touch door handles air conditioning and radio controls, any of that area up here, the vents, they're gonna be certainly, you know, maybe reaching up for a vent, light controls, if they wanna turn the light on, you got these handles up here that people are gonna reach up and grab perhaps, even the surface, because sometimes people put their hand, you know, on the, you know, in order to lift themselves up or adjust themselves, seat belts, and certainly that was one I, I skipped on the uh, on the driver's side, but the driver would be doing the same thing with the seat belts, wiping down just anywhere that the uh, passenger is going to touch. There's a recline mechanism down here, right in here, because maybe they've got their coffee. For the time being, we are not offering any sort of reading material uh, or bottled water. Right now, that could change. I mean, normally that's part of, you know, what you get with your service, uh, but uh, that could change even by next week. You never know. But uh, for right now, we're not offering any of those amenities. Uh, but again, that's that's subject to change. So as we talked about, some of the normal amenities like bottled water, reading material, newspapers, things like that that were previously offered. Uh, while we don't have those, what we now are offering, which I think everybody can appreciate, is inside. This is for the passenger. You can take it with you. You don't have to. But inside here is a little kit, almost like sometimes when you go to a hotel and they say, hey, did you forget your toothpaste or did you forget your, you know, your shower cap or whatever it is? They got a little sample bottles and things of that sort, or you do it on the front desk. Similar. So inside here, hand sanitizer. 
compliments of Reno Tall Limousine. It's 80% alcohol. This was brewed, actually, well, I guess it was brewed. It was manufactured by Bentley uh, Heritage uh, uh, Distillery here locally in Northern Nevada. Uh, one of our clients, it's a really beautiful facility and uh, they uh, make this uh, using the uh, CDC recommended uh, recipe, which is the ethyl alcohol and hydrogen peroxide, isopropyl alcohol, glycerin, and water. And uh, so this is, again, we provide that. Certainly optional, you don't have to use it, you don't have to have it, it's there for you. There's extra masks, there's extra gloves, packets of Kleenex. And so we leave that in there for the passengers so that when you, when you get in, if you, oh, I, you know, I'd like a new mask, or I don't have a mask, or while it's not required that passengers wear a mask in most cases, uh, we strongly encourage it. It's to protect you and it's so that you can protect me and so that you can protect the other passengers. So the gloves and everything, it's all optional, but we provide that for you, you know, no charge, it's just part of the service. So the bottom line is we wanna make sure people understand we are taking extra precautions for all of the national health guidelines where you feel safe and we know that you're as safe as possible when you get into one of our vehicles. They're clean, they're disinfected, they're sanitized, the drivers are sanitized, we practice great hygiene, we take care of ourselves, we know that you take care of yourself, and so you, you know, you're as minimally at risk as you can possibly be getting into one of our cars. So with that said, hopefully next time you get into a Reno Tile limousine vehicle, uh, you know, you feel comfortable and you don't have to wonder where it's been or where the driver's been or, or are you going to be okay. So as long as you follow your guidelines, we will definitely be following ours and you'll have a very safe and comfortable and clean trip with Reno Tile limousine. Thank you.